Hi guys, today I'm going to show you my review of my uh, Lego Bowser's Fury mod. This is from the game, uh, Bowser's Fury. Um, it came out um, a couple months ago. I know I'm a little bit late for making, um, Mario, uh, making a mock about this. But I started to do it anyway, so yeah, well, here we are. So um, this is just uh, a mini scale mock. So um, it's not like a full mock with the actual Lego Mario minifigure. I plan on doing maybe a couple more Bowser's Fury mocks, and I'll try to do a lot more Mario mocks as I can. Uh, I'll also try to make more mocks with the traditional Lego Mario minifigure. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and do that, but. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. If, uh, also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and like the video. But anyway, let's jump right into this review of this amazing mock that I created. At least, I think it's amazing. Okay, so the first thing we have here is the Giga Bell. The Giga Bell in the Mario game, basically, or um, in the game, Bowser's Fury, it turns Mario into this giant Super Saiyan cat or Saiyan. I, I, I don't know any of you guys, okay? Please don't. Be uh be mean to me in the comments, okay? Please. Anyway, but he turns to a big giant cat thing. This is the Giga Bell right here, as you can see. So this is the Giga Bell all covered in its um uh in the black goop that Bowser has spread all over the island. So I put that there again. This is mini scale. Let me just show this to you a little bit up close. This is just the um uh I just uh, made it look like it's floating, which is a transparent stud here. So let me put that back and let me really quick show you how it looks in detail. Okay, so here we have the Giga Bell up and close. So it's a very simple design. I just used, um, let me just show you. I got this piece. I don't know what this piece is called. It's like this cylinder piece tile with like a stud in the middle. Then I just got a black Lego head all the way around as you can see. And just put a one by one circular tile in black on the very top. And I think this has kind of a nice bell shape to it. Um, of course, it's not the best looking, but I think it uh, worked out well. I'm really uh, happy with how it turned out overall. But um, yeah, that's kind of it for the bell itself. Let me just put this back over here. And on the island, if you look closely, let me just adjust lighting here, sorry. Um, we have a little tree right here, just using some, um, just using a brown stud and two uh, lime green studs on the top and overall I'm really happy with how the Gigabell Island and the Gigabell itself turned out But yeah, anyway, let's just move on to some other details Right here on the right side. We have this patch of black goop. Um, I just used some black plates and then I used some uh, Black spike pieces from like mixels and whatnot. I used some black studs and tiles and overall I think the effect looks really nice of the black goop I'm really happy with how it turned out. And um, yeah, you just got some other patches all the way over here. You just got a very small one right here. It's using another stud and stuff like that. But yeah, um, anyway, let's move on to some more interesting stuff. Okay, so right here in the back, we have the, um, uh, what is it called? The lighthouse here. And the lighthouse, well, um, as you can see, it looks a bit rough compared to the actual design of the lighthouse. I'm not really too happy with how the design came up, um, or came out. Um, I tried a bunch of different designs. I tried, um, making it smaller, uh, larger, but overall I think this one looks okay. My brother said this one looks, um, great, um, he said it looks good, but I'm not so sure. I think it looks fine, I guess. But I'm not entirely happy with how it turned out. You just have a yellow stripe in the middle there. Um, then you have um, this a whole circular thing going all the way around. That's supposed to be like the railing or whatever um, on top of the lighthouse. Again, I'm not too happy with the design. And again, there's supposed to be like cat ears on the very top of the lighthouse there. But um, I just decided not to add any because it kind of looked a bit um, strange. See here, I got the piece right here. This is what the ears would have looked like. Let me just angle that up a bit more. But I just didn't think it looked that good, so I just um, left it uh, like that. But um, yeah, anyway, um, the surrounding island. Oh, wait, I just got a hair there. That's kind of gross. Um, yeah, that that's kind of gross. Anyway, um, we have some trees right here, just using the same kind of design. 
Um, but uh, just using, oops, sorry, I gotta use my camera there. But just using some, uh, 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 circular tubes or whatever. I'm sorry, I can't think today. And then we just have a little miniature Mario here. As you can see, he is very small. And, um, yeah, just a miniscule Mario, just to, you know, add it there. But sadly, you know, Bowser Jr., I know, it's sad. But, you know, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the lighthouse and the island around it. So anyway, let's get on to the main attraction, Bowser Fury himself, or Fury Bowser. Okay, so over here we have Bowser, or Fury Bowser over here. Now, we have a lot of black goop in this area. We have, like, some more spikes over here. Just some other uh, details using tiles and studs. Um, it's kind of hard to see here because, well, it's black on black, but, um, trust me, those details are there. And then we have, uh, Fury, Fury Bowser's shell here. Um, I'm really happy with the design. Um, um, this is just half the shell. It's not like, um, the shell where, like, um, he's up in the air and everything like that. I'll put a picture up right here. Um, uh, as you can see, the shell is, um, in the game. It kind of, like, floats up, but I just decided to put... Um, they're like half kind of like submerged in like the goop or whatever. And, um, this, uh, I kind of got the design from Benny Bricks. If you don't know who that is, um, this, I, I kind of got inspired to make this whole mock actually from Benny Bricks. If you don't know, he makes these amazing, like, um, uh, um, um, like, um, mocks. He makes these, like, Mario mocks and stuff like that. They're really cool. He also does, like, CMS and stuff like that. I'll link it in the description below and at the end of this video if you want to go check him out. But anyway, I just got inspired by him to make this. And the shell itself, let me just take this off. You can take the whole thing off. It's just attached by this uh, jumper right here. But um, anyway, let me just show you a closer look at his shell. Okay, so as you can see here, it's much easier to see the details of the shell. Um, I might do a video separately on how to build the shell. Um, if you guys want to see me how I actually built this and you want to build it yourself, comment down below if you want to see a video about that. But I'm just going to show you it, um, some of the smaller details. It's using um, these pieces, these like uh, cone pieces in black. I just added some very old um, orange studs on there, transparent studs. Those are from like, those are like my dad's Legos. So um, like those are from when he was a kid. But anyway, I'm just using like... Um, these, like, um, pieces, let me just angle them all up here. They're like these, uh, pieces that you can move up and down like this. I don't know what they're called, but I basically got those in black, and, um, when you fold them all down like this, they create a really nice shell effect, and I really like how that, um, came out. And then I used, let me just, uh, try and get this out. I used, as you can see, I used this piece in black. It's kind of hard to see, but I think you get the basic idea of what piece I used. And then just put that back right there. And again, put another spike on the top. I'll probably do a more in-depth video on how to build this. Again, comment down below if you want to see that. But that's pretty much it for his shell. Um, I, I could have made maybe his shell where it's like one of these on the bottom. And then one of those on the top to make it look like he's in the air. But one, um, that was going to take a lot of time to kind of find more of these pieces. And one, I just wasn't sure how I would connect them. I would probably just use sticky tack or whatever. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I wasn't sure how I would connect it. Um, but anyway, um, if I do make a building video, maybe one of you guys could make Fury Bowser with, like, this on the bottom. and I'll, I'll, Look, like that right there. Yeah, that right there. But maybe you can make him look like that if I do make a building video on this. But, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's just do the conclusion now. Well guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. I know this video took a while to make, but um, yeah, it's finally out. And I just hope you all have a great day today. I'll see you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe. Well, be sure to lick and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.